What's up guys, it's Hudson here from Hudson Tech bringing you guys a brand new video and welcome again to the Premiere Pro uh, CC 2014 tutorial series. Um, this is going to be our second video uh, in this series and today we're going to be talking about exporting sequences. Specifically sequences, there's lots of different exports that you can execute in Premiere Pro but today we're just going to be focusing solely on the sequence because that's the most requested um, and the most common as well. So. Basically, what that means uh, is we're going to take our complete edited video that we've you know that we've worked on, and if you're completely um, you're completely new to Premiere Pro, definitely check out my beginner video. It'll be uh, linked in the description to the playlist of the Premiere Pro tutorials, and you can go through, um, and it'll be the late or the first one uh, that I did create. But essentially, we're taking this video and compressing it. That way, you can upload it uh, somewhere. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna export it, um, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, real quick here, this is our sequence. Uh, if you're going to, uh, and this is just a video that I had yesterday, if you're going to um, to export a sequence, you may need to make sure that it is selected before you go and hit file. Uh, so you've got this kind of blue outline going. And also something that you can do is if you hit the I, and this is at least in Premiere Pro CC 2014, you used to be able to drag it. Now you hit the I and the O. You can select a certain part of your sequence that you want to export specifically. Um, but we're just going to we're going to do the entire sequence um, and export that. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this and, and export it by going to file, export, and then hitting media, or you can hit control M on the keyboard. It's going to bring up this window and this is what we're going to be in for the remainder of the video. Essentially, these are all the settings that you can choose. So you've got all kinds of different uh, specific just their audio. You've got photo modes. You've got video modes. Uh, you can export as a GIF. You can export as a t uh, TIFF. You can QuickTime, PNG. We're going to stick with the H.264. There is also the Blu-ray variant of that. Uh, we're going to stick with our H.264. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can go into a preset here which is probably going to be the smartest thing to do for you know being new at this uh, we'll scroll down to our HD 1080p 29.9 uh, which is 30 frames per second and that's going to load in all the preset settings for you uh, you can select your output name so you know this would go to my to upload and we would say that this is our test and then we'd hit save um, and that's just going to tell the video where it's going to go. That's not exporting it. You're just naming it and telling it where to go. You want the video and the audio, but those you can uncheck and check if you'd like. The summary is basically going to tell you everything that you have, you know, selected down here, but just really easy to read. So we've got our to upload test MP4, uh, 1920 by 1080. It's a, it's a VBR one pass. So you got the 1.0. Uh, that's variable bitrate, so you can change that to a two pass um, and get a higher quality. But we're gonna leave it at one because this is just a gameplay video, and you don't need stupid, um, you know, uh, stupid bit rates. Uh, you got the progressive, um, and like I said, the VBR one pass. Uh, the target is 32 megabits per second, which is super high quality. We're gonna be changing that uh, for this video specifically, and the max is at 40. Uh, you've got the AAC, which is the audio encoding. The 192 kilobits per second is the audio uh, bit rate. You've got 48 kilohertz, which is the frequency, and it's in stereo. That all that can be changed, and you have the source, which tells you, you know, what is the footage and if you're stretching it or whatever. So this is going to match that very well because you can see you got the 1920, 1920, 29 FPS, 29 FPS, progressive, 4800 kilohertz, uh, 48 kilohertz. So or 4800 hertz and 48 kilohertz is the same thing. So that's that. Uh, if you wanted to specifically edit things, you can go into the the little tabs down here and uh, and nitpick each each thing. Uh, if you wanted to you know change your frame rate and whatever, then I would just select going up to here and doing the preset and not really messing with it um, unless you really know what you're doing. You got your profile and your level. You can change the level for the quality. The profile uh, render at maximum depth. You got the bitrate settings, VBR one pass or CBR or VBR two pass. Uh, you're gonna want to probably do VBR one pass. Um, but in terms of the bitrate, at least for a gameplay video, I'm gonna leave the target at 12 and the max at 20. 
um, and that's going to cut the file size, you know, way down. Even still, it's a 1.5 gigs, uh, so that's pretty large. You could probably even go to 10 and 15, and it would it would look just as well. Especially this is going on YouTube, so uh, you don't need a super high uh, bitrate video. Uh, then you can go into your audio and change it. The only settings that you've got are the AAC, really, uh, except Dolby Digital and um, you know MPEG. But I don't think you really want to mess with that, especially if you're uploading to YouTube, like we've talked about. Uh, your audio codec, you can change to the version 1 or the version 2. You've got your sample bit rate. This is the highest quality, so you're going to want to leave it there. Uh, you've got your stereo, 5.1 and mono. 5.1 if you're doing Dolby Digital. Uh, that's what I would suggest. Your audio quality, high, medium, low. Leave it up there. Uh, and the bit rate, you can change You know, even higher than 192. 192 is a good target, especially for YouTube. Um, you can also do you know, 160, 128. It's going to sound pretty good. If you go lower than that, then you'll start to notice things. So um, you know, I'd stick with the high bit rate. Uh, you can choose a maximum render quality, uh, use previews, import into a project, all these things. Uh, and you see now, as we've changed a few of these parameters, it's now come up as a custom. Then you can say, oh, okay, so what's that? So we can save this, the save the preset. That way we can go back into our presets under H.264 and select it next time. So that way we have the same quality and it meets the same standard and it doesn't look various when you export videos and you're like, oh, I don't remember what I selected for that and whatever. And so then you can save it to... All right, and so you know when we go to name it, we could say so we said so we changed the bit rate, so we could say um, uh, bit rate max was 15. Okay, so we say bit rate max 16, and then we save that, and now we've got that selected here. And you know when you go to your customs, it's there. Um, I also have this one saved, uh, which has my 10 and 12, uh, which the VBR1 pass, and that's probably what I. What I should be using anyway, so we could say um, this would be gaming 1080p 30. We'll save that, um, and now we have that as well as the is the bitrate max fix 15. Uh, so we can select those there. Um, basically, you know, if you hit the match source, it's gonna uh, select things for you. So if we go back to our bitrate, you can see that these things aren't checked um, just because we selected this preset. So if we hit the select match source, it's gonna uh, just you know create everything specific to the clips that you inserted um, at least in the basic video settings and then again you know you can save that to uh, the max bitrate 14 or 15 with the uh, match source so then we can select that and have that saved as well so you can go through those and do whatever you'd like so now so say we've got this done um, we have created, you know, our we've finished all of our settings and everything, and we can hit our export. Uh, this is going to export the audio and then the video right after. Um, and this is going to this is like a 20 minute video, so it's going to take a little while. Um, and it's you know 1080p, and we've got uh, pretty decent settings on this bad boy, but um. Yeah, so it's going to whenever we selected our output name, it's going to take um, you know that and put it into the folder that we wanted it to. Uh, it's pretty nice. We're going to be able to cut the the time of the video uh, in like thirds, and it's going to export that pretty quickly. That's the six cores at work there. Um, but um, yeah, so that's essentially the basics of exporting a video um, in Premiere Pro. At least the sequence side of things. There are other ways to export. Um, you know, based on your uh, your source video and you know other other ways and various things to do uh, if you guys are curious and you'd like to suggest a uh, video topic or a tutorial topic uh, definitely leave that in the comments down below I'm gonna be doing a lot of Premiere Pro tutorials so if you're curious and you've got some questions uh, definitely leave them down there and I'll do my best uh, to get to those and possibly do a video on it as well um, otherwise I'll just like point you in the right direction on on the internet or something like that but uh, thank you guys so much for watching I very much appreciate it subscribe if you are new I would appreciate that as well thumbs up this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching peace